When you're doing safety presentations and you're using PowerPoint, one of the things that's important is go to the back of the room and look and see what your audience is seeing. Can they read it? I recommend keeping points down to, to just, just a few words that can be seen on the screen. Not, you don't want them reading what's on your screen because when people read, once again, they read faster than you speak and they get ahead of you. So put things up that illustrate your point, that back it up, a picture, something that people can, uh, can look to, to relate to. Maybe it's a picture of an incident that you're talking about and then a close-up of what went wrong or what needed to be fixed, what could have prevented the injury. But make sure that you keep it so people can get the most from your PowerPoint and not make it something that distracts them from the content that you're actually trying to get across. Is PowerPoint your friend or foe? What I mean by that is, is it helping you or is it hurting your presentation and the message you're getting across? PowerPoint and other techniques are incredible tools, but too often presenters let them get in the way of their presentation. The pastor of our church, an amazing preacher, is able to convey the passion of his belief and his values to his audience when he's speaking and giving a sermon. People lock in and his his passion comes across through his eyes and how he's presenting and everything else. And because of that, he all of a sudden started using PowerPoint because it was happening and, and everybody was using that. And he was putting text and verses up on a screen away out of his view. So all of a sudden, I, because I watch the audience, I watch audiences and the speaker, and I see what's happening. And I notice that instead of people having their eyes locked in on him, grabbing the passion and the belief in his message. All of a sudden I noticed people looking up at a screen. And then the other thing I noticed is, and this is the biggest danger in PowerPoint, make sure you only put up a few words because some people put up a whole paragraph. And at that point, you now, instead of having people paying attention to you, they're now reading a text. And believe me, they can read faster than you can speak. Most people speak at about 250 words a minute. I usually get up to gusts of about 400, but when people speak at about 250, most people can read faster than that. So they're already done with the thought that you've put on the screen before you've had a chance to get there. And that's the beginning of losing your audience. So remember these little tips and make sure that PowerPoint's your friend and not your foe. Don't miss out. Be sure to hit the red button on the lower right and subscribe. That way, every time we release a video, you'll be aware of it.